Welcome to Lee Does Stuff. Today we're going to be checking the tire pressure on a 2021 Road Glide Standard. We are going to be checking the pressure as well as filling the tire pressure to spec. So I picked up one of these air compressors type air fillers uh, from Canadian Tire. Um, I had one before that plugged into a lighter socket in the truck and it kept blowing fuses. So I did some research online and I came to the conclusion that it's blowing fuses because it's drawing too much power uh, when you go through your lighter socket. So I picked up this one and this one's gonna connect right to your battery. So if you bring the unit close to your vehicle, so I'm gonna use my Jeep here, pop the hood and there's my battery right there. Uh, on the left is positive, on the right is negative. Positive is always red, so match the red with the red. And we are going to match the black with the black, the negative. And hopefully we have power to the little compressor here. And voila, we do. So we have PSI and we also have it in bars, but we're going to be using PSI today. Uh, that was a leftover pressure from doing a car. Air calls for 36 pounds of pressure. So we hold the set button till it starts flashing and then we can move it up or down with the arrows. Now I go 36.5 because when you take off the part where it connects to the stem, you tend to lose about a half a pound of pressure. So if it's 36 pounds of pressure, I go 36.5. So let's take off the valve stem here and let's connect our hose. And it's pretty easy. You just connect the little end of the hose here on the nozzle and you go righty tighty. So keep turning it right till you get a nice seal. You'll hear a little bit of air coming out. That's uh, absolutely normal. We come up to our machine and remember, see that's the current pressure now, 30.2 pounds per square inch. So we got a little light option here if you need. And on the other side, this is what is going to trip the switch for the little compressor. So we have 32.2 pounds and we have to bring this pressure up to 60. It's going to happen very fast and boom, just like that. Uh, the tires are not very big in a Harley and they fill extremely quickly. So it's nice to have a little cutoff and I think this unit is proving to be worth it. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's very smart to have that cut off because then you're never going to overfill your tires. All right, let's move to the back here. Don't be afraid to move your Harley uh, forwards or backwards so that that stem is on the bottom. Some people take off your saddle bags uh, to get to the valve stem. I think it is completely unnecessary. The back tire calls for 40 pounds per square inch. So we were at 36.5. We hold that set button. And remember, we're going a half a pound over. So we're going to go to 40.5. And we hook it up to the valve stem. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then we're going to go over to the compressor and we're going to flip the switch. We currently have 32.9, so definitely have to get some more air in these tires. And just like that, little switch here, and boom, she starts going up quick. It starts happening fast, like I said. All right, so then you got the 40.5. Here we go the compressor cut off and when you take it off you're going to hear air come out so we're, we're probably pretty much going to be dead even on that 40 pounds per square inch so let's screw our valve stem cover back on and now we disconnect from the battery here and we are going to prepare to put our compressor and all our components away back in the box. Now the way this comes off is you kind of pull back on this, a little pull back, and it just slides right out. I'll show you how it goes in. Pull it back, goes in, boom, 
pull it back and out. All right, so everything has its place in these boxes. So always organize your tools and put them away properly because when you need to deploy them, you will have all your parts and accessories when you need them. Now I've used a few of these different pumps. Uh, this one's uh, very, very good. Uh, it's a good price point. Uh, I don't know how long it'll last, but so far it's been proving to be very durable. So keep your instructions with the box, put it away. Uh, our tire pressures are ready to go. Let's, let's close our hood up here. And uh, it's a beautiful day in Vancouver. So I think it's time to go for a ride. Thank you for watching.